Bader. In this video, we're going to be showing you how we go about spraying a garage door. And these garage doors are a little bit taller than a typical garage door, so I'm going to use an extra long uh, gun extension. This gun extension is about, a I think it's a 20 inch extension, either 20 or 24 inch extension. But you want an extension so you can reach high enough to get the garage doors. And the method we're spraying the garage doors, I like to go up and down versus crossways because going up and down, you walk a lot less. Instead of having to walk, you know, lengthwise back and forth, back and forth, you only walk in the length of the garage door one time. So I like doing my method up and down. And you want to get it over spray and overlap your spray pattern 50%. So you actually get it on heavy enough that you just do it one time and one time only. So we're gonna just um, show you how we go about spraying this garage door right now. So I'm gonna start spraying this garage door. I typically, I like working my uh, way from left to right. It really doesn't matter, but I typically go left to right because it just um, is more natural for me going that way. Make sure you got your overlap pattern 50% overlap so that way you don't get no light spots on your garage door because you want to shoot it one time only and not have to go back and do touch ups. See, when I'm actually spraying this garage door, you actually want to go all the way down past the bottom of the garage door, about four to five inches. That way you know you get the bottom of the garage door completed 100%, and then you want to go up to the top onto the garage trim about four to five inches also. You definitely want to go slow enough that you're getting enough paint on there to cover it 100% the first time. Hey everybody, what's going on? <laughs> you're making up your when you're theory? done spraying these garage doors, that you don't let them dry 100%. I did have a situation one time we let it dry halfway through the day, went to open the garage door opener, pushed the button, and because it was sealed all around the weather stripping, it, it, it glued itself to the garage door basically. It actually ripped the garage door opener right out of the door. So make sure you open it when it's wet, but we don't like to open it when it's too wet because you um, sometimes I tend to see to smear the edges a little bit. But just give it about 10 to 15 minutes and then open the door. So here we go to show you how to use spray door one more time. See how slow I'm going when I'm spraying this door. You go too fast, you're going to get light spots. You go too heavy, you'll get runs. But it's just a matter of watching the paint come out, watching it actually hit the garage door, and you can actually you'll start to get a feel for how much paint's actually hitting the garage door, and you get a feel for how thick it's actually going out on. And you want to just have an idea what it is, you know, mill thickness wise. But that just takes a lot of experience. start off spraying these garage doors, you know, I'm using our Graco 695 sprayer, using my uh, gun extension. It's about 20 inches or 24 inches because of the height of the door, using a Contractor 2 spray gun. And another important uh, tip is we're actually using a Graco rack uh, tip, which is a 515 tip. That's typically what we spray our garage doors with is a 515. And when you get to another uh, handy tip is when you get to the ends, 
your um, when you're starting and stopping on the ends, you actually got to go up and down two to three times to make sure you get enough on the ends. Because you're not actually getting that 50% overlap when you get when you start or get to the 